Last year, HMD Global resurrected Nokia's classic 3310 candy bar feature phone, and this year they have revamped another 20 plus year old handset, Nokia's banana phone. HMD Global is a Finnish company mostly made up of former Nokia employees, and the company does not actually manufacture Nokia handsets, but has a licensing agreement to market the brand. Now they have showed off their five new phones at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and today we'll have a look at them. The new range includes upgrades for models across the price spectrum, and even the return of the classic 8110 banana phone last seen in the movie The Matrix. For those who missed a Nokia flagship, you may want to have a look at the Nokia 8 Sirocco flagship handset, which seems to be a premium upgrade to the less expensive Nokia 8. But is it worth the extra money needed to buy one? The first look and feeling was, wow, that reminds me of my old Galaxy S6 Edge, but not in a good way, because the buttons feel totally bad and are hard to press. It's just exactly like on the S6 Edge. But well, that's a problem with extremely curved smartphones, and that was the reason why I sold my S6 Edge. I think a button like on the LG G6 on the back would be amazing on this phone, and maybe even ditch the round back for a little more frame. However, the 5.5 inch QHD OLED display with a body that's covered in molded Gorilla Glass and has a stainless steel frame looks amazing. You will also find a Snapdragon 835 chipset, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, dual rear facing cameras, a fingerprint scanner, face unlock and Android 8 Oreo on board. Unfortunately, they're using the last year's flagship processor, but the 835 is still a great chip, although it's not the most cutting edge. I really like that they use size optics, usually the megapixels or the sensor doesn't matter if the optics are bad. So I'm really curious on how the 12 megapixel main sensor, alongside with a 13 megapixel telephoto lens, will work out. But so far it looks very good and also the pro mode is easy to use. The Android 8 Oreo operating system ran pretty smoothly, and Android fans will be happy with the stock versions of Google's operating system, so there is no clunky interface getting in the way. It's also part of Google's Android One program, which guarantees the phone the next two big Android updates and three years of security updates. I really wish that Samsung would bring out a phone with this. The additional benefits of this is that you get unlimited storage of your pictures on Google Photos, access to the Google Assistant, and quick and regular updates to the latest version of Android itself. Now beside this beautiful but non-ergonomic phone, Nokia has also released a bunch of other phones. Now Nokia controls an estimated 1% of the mobile phone global market share and is continuing last year's strategy of Nokia nostalgia by releasing updates of old classic feature phones. While the 8110 looks much alike the model Nokia released in 1996, the internals of the new version will feature 4G cellular tech and have the ability to use Google's Assistant app, social media apps and email. According to the company, HMD is marketing the phone as a device that people can use to switch off from smartphones on the weekends. So basically it's a free free 10 from last year in a new plastic body and as the price it feels also a bit cheap. But if you like the slider phones of old, you will likely have a soft spot for this. If you're after an inexpensive second or emergency phone though, there are better options out there. Now, beside those headliners, Nokia also rebooted the Nokia 6 for 2018. The biggest change is the new processor, which is now a Snapdragon 660. Nokia claimed that this will give you an 80% performance boost. The fingerprint scanner has been pushed to the back and it comes with a size lens as well, Type-C and the whole design feels a bit classier with diamond cut edges and some nicer color options. In between the price, the large version of the China-only Nokia 7 the Nokia 7 Plus features an upgraded Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor, 4 gigs of RAM and a 6 inch Full HD Plus 18x9 display primed for entertainment. It's a good looking device, available in black copper and white copper and a fingerprint scanner is found on the backside. The Nokia 7 Plus will retail for around $399 and it's a lot cheaper than its flagship brother, the Nokia 8 Sirocco. So for me, this is probably the Nokia I will put my hands on. Then last but not least, they have released the Nokia 1. 
the Nokia One offers something rather special. A solid Android smartphone experience for a feature phone price. That's not easy to come by these days, especially in Europe. So usually when you buy a super cheap China phone and you import it, you get an outdated Android version, but with the Nokia One you get the latest Android version, but also pretty low specs. It has its limitations for sure, but because of how cheap the phone is and who is it targeted at, there is definitely a market for it. So guys, I really hope that you liked this video. If you're interested in a truth about HMD Global with some interviews and many background informations, then let me know and I will release this video very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Also, please like this video and if you liked it, also subscribe for more. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day.